Hello, nice to be with you today out of the um, house for a moment and without my mask for five minutes. That's even great. I am Sue Ann Pittman here doing crafts for the preschool for Lifeway, which is concrete and cranes. Now I heard this last summer, what the theme was gonna be, and I was like, oh, that'll be great. The boys will be so excited. But you know, the boys have to do flowers sometime, make little hats and all that. So I was okay with it. Well, then all the crafts came out and I went to conference and saw some of the crafts and I'm like, okay, the, the girls can fit in with this. So, you know, if the boys can do it, the girls can do it. We just have to do it in pink and purple. So um, a note to yourself, like I always say at conference, if your mama's not with you, make sure you clean up after yourself when you leave. I'm gonna go through these pretty fast because we've got a short amount of time, or maybe that's what I think. Uh, I'm gonna go through, there's four crafts per day for the preschool, and um, I'll try to go through them enough where you'll be able to understand them. On day one, and the curriculum is written for five days, one of the conferences, I, one of the Bible schools I teach in does Monday on Sunday at Sunday school, and then we just start with four days. So, you know, you can change it up ever how you need to. This is a road, obviously, and this has been, this has been copied and cut out, um, and you run the car, or actually I ran the bulldozer through the paint, and then I taped it together. I put it on the table with a plastic tablecloth under it, or you could do it on the floor just as easily. So I let them run the paint, run the wheels through the paint, and then they paint it on this. Now it'll take a little while to dry, but it's long and slender, so you'll be able to hang it up like this with a clothespin or a piece of tape, something very simple. Okay, one of the other crafts for this day, I did it in heart shaped. Every day has a theme. The theme for Monday is foundation. Each, each, each day has a foundation. This is a foundation of love. So I cut it in a heart shape. This is just um, nuts and bolts. You stamp them in a paint, then you stamp them on paper. It takes a little while to dry, but you give them the choice. I stuck with one color of paint. If you're brave and want to do multicolors, that's up to you. But they just stamp it just like a regular stamp. And I just went to my husband's little bin, except one of these. We stopped along the road. He sees these little things that could harm a tire, so he picks them up. So just any kind of nuts and bolts will work, or even if you need to do, use a screwdriver or something like that. This is one of the kits, and I recommend the kits. Not always do I do that Lifeways kits are okay, but this one is really good. On the back, I've put the glue on these. They are not self-sticking, but preschoolers cannot get them even. So we turned it over, and this was another suggestion for the preschool that you do the stickers, and instead of the string, you go ahead and let them use a pipe cleaner and you string pony beads on it. I have it full because the preschooler I was working with, which is my granddaughter, uh, she is able to thread those things on there pretty fast, but not, not every preschooler is. So it would be according to the age of the preschooler you're using, because this is preschool crafts, three through uh, five. This is the cutest little thing. It is a puppet, construction puppet. Now the kids are gonna be able to identify with construction because every city we've been in, even coming to video today, construction is everywhere, everywhere. So these need to be pre-cut out. This is just a lunch sack. What I would do is I would give them both pieces, let them color it, and then the teacher could glue them on or assist the child as they glue them on. So that's the first day, the foundation of love. Second day is, I've gotta get a magic thing out of my pocket that I've borrowed from a doctor kit at my house. I hope I don't get caught. This is going to be a disappearing picture or reappearing picture. It is a half a sheet of typing paper cut in half, folded in half, colored on the front. But on the inside, we have something. The kids don't ever see that part. But when you put a light behind it, it shines through. So you don't have to use a construction worker, but it is in the curriculum ready for us to use. Okay, 
This is the cutest thing ever. It's a tool belt. It is made with poster board, and there's a template for these tools. It is put together with Velcro, and they are um, Velcroed on there, and they can take them off. This will be the coolest thing. If you have a laminator and want to laminate it, they'll be great. In putting this around the children to see how uh, round the children are, make sure you stand behind the child for your safety and theirs and reach over them and see if they're this big or this big. This is just an estimation on this one. Okay, this was kind of dumb and I, was, okay, whatever. This is a nail apron and what you do is the suggestion is for every four children, you let them share these. You put crayons, pencils, markers, and they're able to just wear it and use whatever medium they would like to on a paper. Kids will love it, but if grandma could make each kid one of these, that would just really be even better. But a nail apron, it's keeping with the, uh, with the theme. This right here is the bright sunshine, the bright light. Um, this is the day that Paul is going to Damascus, on the road to Damascus, and he is traveling and in the dark, and so this is the bright light that he is sharing. Okay, on Wednesday, or the third day, whichever, um, it is talking about worth. It's the foundation of worth. And it's going to be talking about Jesus, of course, but some of these will blend in a minute, and I'll tell you. This is called push and pull, same thing as the road we did on Monday, except you do it, I would do it with a different type of wheels on play cars, toy cars, whatever. Run it through the paint, let them roll it on here. And again, I would put it on a tray, on a table, let them stand up and do it. Preschoolers do much better not sitting in a chair doing crafts because they're, they're equal to them. There was a lot of praying going on for him traveling. So this is a prayer toolbox. It on the inside it has um, things we can uh, three by five cards they can write. They want to pray for grandma because she broke her leg. They want to play for the cat down the street that Johnny lost his kitty cat. Preschoolers. But just decorate this however they want to. Markers, crayons, stickers, stamps, or all of the above. Now, Lifeway comes out with some really unusual things because, you know, the nighttime, this is a, let's see, it, it tells you to wash it and then see what happens. Okay, this is the cupcake family. This is a, a pillowcase for preschoolers. Number one, what preschooler has a pillow this big? Number two is, the cheapest we could find was at Dollar Tree, and they were a dollar a piece. So Grandma could make some out of some extra stuff she's got laying around. It would be much better. The next craft is the greatest craft ever. This is a T-shirt safety vest. It is made from a T-shirt. Of course, you cut the sleeves off, and you cut down the middle. This is tape. However... This would be much better for older children. Kindergarten can do this, but it's going to require one-on-one -on -one, uh, because of the taping and all that. Then you cut down the middle, but it's really, really cute. And if you will remember, if you teach preschool very much at all, you made little Indian vest. So this would be more preschool because they can decorate it. You can go ahead and have the tape and everything on it. They can decorate it with stickers and stamps and all that. Be the exact same thing, but you just go to Kroger and every time you go, you ask them if you can have five bags and you ask them to buy more every time and you get your neighbors to do that. So you have quite a bit of things. Vest materials to work with. So that is day three. Day four is going to be the foundation of promise. And this is a puzzle that you make, which to me, really was weird, and I'm like, okay, well, they won't mess with that. But it is five craft sticks, not popsicle sticks. What you do is you put uh, masking tape or painter's tape across the back of it, and you write their name on it, and they're able to um, cut it 
uh, cut the tape off or pull the tape off the back and put it together because I didn't say they've put a um, they've put a picture on there that they've drawn with markers or crayons. Markers work much better, uh, but if it ever gets wet, they bleed and it'll be smeared. But you know, if they take it home and play with it for a week. That's my thing. I hate to send a piece of paper home that they've scratched on. It says, okay, I went to Bible school today. I want to have something that they play with or they, they use. This is another one of the craft kits. There's three craft kits that are available for preschool, and this is Jesus Loves Me. Again, try to tie it into everything. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves Johnny. Jesus whatever the name is. This is one of their dumb, dumb uh, crafts, but, you know, it kind of worked. What the children do is color on this with crayons. They have to color really hard. My three-year-old didn't do it hard enough. Then the teacher takes an iron, and she irons that paper down on, uh, the sandpaper down on this with a hot iron, and it melts and that's what it makes. A lot of trouble for not much reward. I used to do this with just let them color on a piece of paper, turn it over and do it. It'll work much, much better. But you know, I play, they've got young writers and they don't know all that stuff. This is a building made with sticky notes and it's preschoolers of all ages, two year olds. This is sticky notes of various sizes and colors. They stack them on top of each other. Um, it's just like building blocks with paper. Okay, we're to day five. Day five is the best day ever. Not that it's the last day, but um, it talks about the foolish man and the wise man. And it is foundations for life. All of these others have been foundations for love, foundations for forgiveness, foundations for uh, worth, foundations for promises. And now this is a foundation for life. I'm going to leave that one later because that's my favorite one. Again, you make a little house out of a lunch sack. Now, I will give it to Lifeway this time. Um, most of the preschool crafts are either things you'll have or very inexpensive. Some of the children's are a different story. Um, you put beans or rocks in this house to make it stand up. Basically, you just um, cut out squares and rectangles for them to make. Uh, the craft out of, and I would pre-cut those in different colors, just lay them out on a tray, let them use glue sticks, put it on there. However, this is how this would be stapled together or held on. When I've made these before, I turn this down and put a piece of paper across here, folded in half for the rooftop. Just another extra, extra little touch there. This right here is just build, buildings built out of, I don't know which way's up and which way's down. Um, it's just buildings built out of rectangles, similar to the post-it notes, but just a little bit different. Here's the other craft kit. Looks really cute, um, but if you're gonna take pictures of your children at VBS, you're going to have to make a, get a picture this big to fit in it. And it's not a 5 by 7 it's not an 8 by 10 It's an odd size. In the um, craft books, this uh, template is a lot smaller, but it says enlarge it to this size. So my thought is we should just leave it as the, as the smaller. If you're not going to take their pictures, which, you know, every, every church does not do that. They don't have the capability of it. Um, Write the verse, the motto for the for the week in there. Uh, write um, foundations of something. When they see this, they will know this. A word about the kits. I was given two kits at conference to have to work with. Mine, however, did not have the little shutters that go here. They're supposed to be white shutters right here. It did not have it, and it did not have the sticky magnet that goes on the back either. So you have to plan for that. If you're buying a set of, of uh, kits for 10 people, 10 kids, and you're gonna have 10 kids, you're gonna have to hope that everything's there or 
open them before the children come and make sure all the parts are there that you need. I hope that you have gained some knowledge of some of this fast-paced uh, crafts for preschoolers. Online, there's going to be, uh, through the DBA, there will be a critique sheet, which, you know, I didn't make any of these crafts. I didn't come up with any of these crafts. The people, the Lifeway writers did. Um, so I can critique them and tell them what they did wrong and what they should have done and all that. I did that on a sheet you'll be able to have access to. I hope this helps. Uh, there are a few things I want to remind you to do. If you get a chance, go to Dollar Tree. They have tools that you can buy for a dollar for the kids to practice with. Preschoolers need lots of practice. Get a piece of wood, those kind of things. They also have a whole Lego section, which is stacking up Legos. They've got tablecloths. They've got flyers. They've got treat bags. So something like that, beneficial to you. You just need to go look. They have little tiny construction cars and all that. So they are a good outlet for us. Uh, Lifeway has a lot of things to, to offer us too. So I hope you've gleaned some uh, knowledge of about preschool crafts for Lifeway's concrete and cranes. <laughs>